So we're using use context to pass the is locked in state to my other components here. That's great, but of course you will notice that we're still forwarding the on logout prop or the logout handler function through props. And that's of course still not ideal. It would be nicer if we could use the main header like this. So without passing any data to it, because we don't need to forward on logout. But of course, at the moment, this would not work. This would mean at the moment that we're simply not able to log out because we're not passing our logout handler. So hammering the logout button here in the navigation wouldn't do anything. The good thing is we can set up a dynamic context where we don't just pass data to our components, but also functions, which technically of course also is data, but still you get my point. Here, all we need to do is in our off context provider, where we set up the value besides passing down is logged in, we can also pass down, let's say on logout, where we point at the logout handler, just like this. If I do that, and make sure you don't execute it, you just wanna point at the function. If I do that, then every listening component, every component that listens to off context will be able to utilize logout handler here. Simply through the on logout context value. So therefore, back in navigation, where we are referring to props on logout, we can now simply do CTX on logout. And uh, this will work because on the context object, we now have the on logout value. So if we save that, now logging out works again. And of course, the rest of the app also works just fine, as you can tell. So this now all works again with the help of context, where you cannot just pass down values like strings, objects, and so on, but where you can also pass down functions. And therefore now we're using this app wide or component wide context object to manage our state and to manage the function that changes the state. Hence, we don't need props in the navigation component anymore. And we can remove it. And you now have a great example for using context. Now here in my main section here, I will still pass down the logout handler through on logout and the login handler through on login because I directly use those handlers in the login and home components. You see in the login component, we directly refer to props on login. We were not forwarding it, we're using it here. And the same in the home component, I'm directly using on logout here. Sure, we're technically forwarding it to our own button component, but this is a pure presentational component. And this here is actually fine. I don't wanna use context inside of my button to always bind button clicks to on logout, because whilst this would remove the need to pass on logout like, like this, it would also mean that our button is now always logging the user out and not able to do anything else upon a click. And this also shows you when to use props and when to use context. In most cases, you will use props to pass data to components because props are your mechanism to configure components and to make them reusable. Only if you have something which you would forward through a lot of components and you're forwarding it to a component that does something very specific, like for example, the navigation, where this button will always log the user out. In such cases, you wanna consider context. And as with everything in programming, with more experience, it will also, of course, become clearer and more natural when to use what. You can, of course, always rely on prop chains if you prefer that, but context allows you to write more concise code and it often makes managing such app-wide state simply a bit easier.